Patank is an ambitious game of 3D pinball. In fact, it may have been a little too ambitious. You play as the ball, which looks more like a UFO. There are no flippers. Instead, you thrust yourself around by hitting the B button, while hitting left and right to turn yourself. A meter limits the amount of thrusts you can do. At the bottom of the table are two magnetic squares, which you can latch onto by holding the A button. These refill your thrust meter a little bit, but they also allow you to aim for a precise shot. You lose a ball if you fall off the bottom of the table, just like in regular pinball. There are three different tables to play, each with their own theme. One has to do with love, another is about surfing, and another has to do with disasters. There are goals to achieve on each table as well. For example, on the surfing table, if you ride the giant wave a certain number of times, you will become the big kahuna. This essentially means you beat the table. The main mode in the game is called the metagame, which attaches the three tables together. To win the metagame, you have to beat all three of the tables. Patunk has a lot of attitude, which comes out in a number of ways. There are numerous video segments, which incorporate old film clips. Patank does have a big problem that makes it almost unplayable, and that's how erratic the visuals are. When you bounce around tight spaces, it looks like the graphics are having a convulsion. Watching it can make you feel nauseated. There's not that much to do either, when you consider the large size of the tables. Sure, there's a bunch of TV screens along the walls, but most of them do nothing. I think the programmers put them all over the place, to make the tables look more interactive than they actually are. There are really just a small number of targets to shoot for. Difficulty-wise, the game is a cakewalk once you learn the tables. Out of the two difficulties, easy and hard, I recommend starting on hard. Since achieving the goals of each table requires hitting targets in a certain way, you'd expect to have some precision in the controls. That's not the case though. When you thrust the ball, it doesn't quite go where you want it to go. This is true even when the targets are right in front of you, and you are thrusting from a stationary position. Even when you do manage to hit something, it may not register because the hit detection is way off. Like most pinball video games, Patank supports up to four players by having them take turns. Nobody's going to want to do this though, because the players waiting for their turn are not going to want to sit and watch the erratic visuals. Plus, each turn can last quite a while. Boredom is usually the reason why I don't enjoy a particular game. But Patank isn't boring, it's just really hard on the eyes, and hard to control. I cannot recommend it to anyone, except for the most diehard supporters of the 3DO. You've mastered romance! Take a cold shower.